I hate the iPad. Well, hold on, hate's a strong word. Let me rephrase that. I highly dislike the iPad. And it's not because it's lacking pro apps. It's not because it's missing that iOS 16 inspired iPhone custom lock screen, but it's really the app experience as a whole on the iPad. When you try to use the iPad as a computer replacement, you know, the way that Apple sort of markets it on their site, you'll run into an app experience that is incomplete, lackluster. But when you find that needle in a haystack, the app really built with the iPad and iPhone and really Apple users in mind, it can be an experience so good that it really changes everything. And that's exactly where Craft comes in. It's an app that I use every single day, not only to run this channel, but also sort of run my life. It's an amazing way to change the way you think of boring text documents, and it sort of transforms, you know, black text on a white page into a more personal, crafted experience, for lack of a better word. See what I did there? Craft is an amazing app that you've gotta know about, and I love Craft so much, and I use it so much myself, that I reached out to them to sponsor this video, and they agreed. So let me show off exactly why I love Craft, all the amazing things it can do, and also how we use it here at the Apple Circle to basically run everything that you see on this channel, including the script, and according to the script right now, looks like I'm supposed to run the intro, so, let me run the intro and then tell you why I love Craft so much. That is because right now I will be unboxing another iPhone, the iPhone 3GS. I have been making videos about Apple for a long, long time, ever since I was like 11 or 12 years old. And I should add that these videos aren't very good and they have been scrubbed from the internet at least mostly. But what's so cool about looking back on these videos is that that kid in the video would have never imagined that I get to do this as a job, that I get to talk about Apple and technology and cool apps for a living, which is surreal and a real privilege that I do not take for granted. I absolutely love doing this and I love talking to you guys on a regular basis and sharing my excitement and love for Apple. But to be honest, a few months ago, I started to get frustrated, not at all with the videos. I love making these videos, but some of the stuff behind the scenes, it was trying to organize a bunch of links and concept videos. It was trying to organize research and different assets and just script the videos that I do on this channel. I just couldn't find an app that could do things well, leading to a very broken experience that just made this whole thing way more frustrating than it needed to be. So that is when I sort of cleared the slate. I deleted all the notes and organization apps I had tried. I wanted to sort of start fresh and find one app that could do all the things I wanted. It seemed like a simple list of requests, but the more I looked, the harder it was to find an app that could do all of these things, not only do them, but do them really well. And that's exactly where Craft comes in. It checked all of these boxes, plus many, many more. And before I go any further, for those unfamiliar, let me explain exactly what Craft is. My one sentence answer is that it's basically a way better version of Google Docs in every single way, but that's not a fair characterization of Craft because that's sort of selling it short because there is so much more that Craft can do. It's a document creation app that is built with some of that unexplainable, magical Apple-like DNA. From its design, the functionality, the ease of use, the power under the hood, the apps that all run really well on all Apple devices, and the syncing that always just seems to work like magic, it was the 2021 Mac app of the year for very good reason. And if you haven't tried Craft before, by the end of this video, I guarantee you're gonna have it downloaded. And let me just be clear, the Craft isn't your typical word processor, your typical word app. You can use Craft to create beautiful documents for presentations, storing recipes, listing an apartment online, or even creating your own portfolio website. There are so many amazing things that Craft can do, and I'm only scratching the surface it really allows you to turn regular old boring text docs into a beautiful experience. It's super sleek, super polished, 
and all with just a couple of simple clicks, you don't need to be some kind of designer. So with the explanation out of the way, I thought instead of just showing you sort of a demo of some features and highlights, I would show you how we actually use Craft here at the Apple Circle to make these videos. In fact, I'm about to shoot a video right now that I created a few days ago inside of Craft from the very beginning. So let me give you a peek behind the scenes and show you how Craft makes all this possible and how these videos sort of start from nothing and turn into something thanks to a little magic from our friends at Craft. So while Apple Circle videos are filmed at our studio, they actually start right here. This is my little cozy home office. I've got some cool Apple stuff and Easter eggs behind me if you can spot them. Uh, this is where the videos actually start and they're edited and really the majority of the video creation process actually happens here. And this is where I spend way too much time sitting here in this chair at this desk, uh, obsessing over every little detail about way too many Apple leaks and rumors. So here is my personal craft setup. You can see I've got a couple of different folders here. I try to keep things pretty simple. Obviously I've got some custom templates, which I'll show off a little later, but basically, as you can see here, uh, every Apple Circle video written in the last nine-ish months or so started right here inside of craft. I love the app, it's been amazing. And uh, it's gonna actually help me today as I work on a new video. One of the next videos we have coming up, if it's not out by the time you see this, is a video about the Apple Johnny Ive breakup. There's some concern that Apple is doomed. Has Apple lost their golden boy? Or is Apple better off today without Johnny Ive than they were with him? I'm gonna do a whole deep dive in an upcoming video. Um, so let me show you what that process is like to start a video from basically nothing and turn it into an actual finished video that can go up here on YouTube. Right off the bat, one of the things I love about Craft is just how easy it is to get the app open and start writing. You can create a new document, and if you just wanna start writing, which I oftentimes do, you can just start, type away, you've got no distractions. Lately, I've been wanting to sort of spruce up my video layouts just a bit, so I'm gonna add in here a colorful background. I can choose from a couple of really nice presets, even add my own if I want to. This one sort of looks cool, and almost sort of gives me like classic Mac OS wallpaper vibes, OS 10 sort of-ish, so this looks super cool. And then what I can do here is add an image, a little inspiration here, maybe something uh, Apple related. I could, of course, upload my own photo, or I can use the built-in unsplash functionality to search for an image, so let's just search Apple. Obviously, I'm gonna get the fruit, but here we go. Here are some of the Apple company itself, and let's throw this in here to get a little bit of inspiration here, and uh, get the creative juices flowing, talking all about Apple. Next up, I wanna show off one of my favorite features of Craft, one that I use all the time that you'll start to see here, is a common theme in my documents, is uh, something called cards. Basically, think of cards like sort of a shortcut into other things. A card can open up and give you a bunch of links. It can be another document full of text. It can be images, or throw you to like an entire entirely uh, other pretty formatted page altogether. Cards are a wonderful way to collect certain things. And in my case here, I'm gonna use different cards to sort of categorize out different assets I'll need as I create this video. So I'm gonna keep things simple with the design of these cards and make three different cards for three different categories. I'm gonna make one for the articles uh, and uh, other links I wanna uh, reference uh, back to during my research and actually during the editing process later on. I'm gonna have one here for YouTube clips of things I wanna watch in preparation or clips I wanna pull later to show off in the video. and then one one final card for images that I also want to reference and then uh, use later on in the edit. And this is probably a good time to mention that not only can you create and save your own custom template inside of Craft, but you can also sort of go through what has already been made and then edit these pre-made templates to sort of fit your needs. And it's not just templates here strictly for writing. There's ones here for recipe collections and travel journals. And if you want to create an apartment listing online, you want to uh, spruce up a digital job resume, even if you want to create your own personal website and blog, no coding or web development skills required. You can do it all with craft with just a couple of simple clicks. And I'll show that off more in a minute, but for right now, I gotta actually get back and do some work on this video. All right, so it might look like nothing has changed on this document, but quite a bit of work has been done since we last checked in. So I've got here all the articles that I've read and some ones I wanna reference later on uh, as I go through the video process. I've also got some YouTube links here, videos I've watched and stuff I gotta download and show off later in the video. And then also some images here that I wanna throw into the video as well. And next comes sort of the hard part, or I guess one of the hard parts here, and that is actually scripting the video and getting my thoughts from in here into in here. So give me a couple hours, let me get my words out on onto the page and let me show you what a completed Apple Circle script looks like once it's actually done. 
All right, so a few hours later, the script has now been written and I can show you what a finished Apple Circle script actually looks like inside a craft. And you can see here, I actually usually keep things pretty simple. I'll break up the script in a couple of key areas and I'll sort of have some subheadings here to sort of let me know where I'm at in the script. I highlight some stuff that I wanna make sure I don't forget since I'm not using a prompter. I wanna make sure that uh, I do not forget to say some important lines or some important themes. And that's basically it. I can easily go back up on top here and reference any materials I need to see. And now I'm almost Almost ready to get this video recorded. One of the other really cool things about Craft that I love and also sort of our team here at JFL loves as well, since we've got a lot of projects going on, is the ability to share these Craft documents to other members of the team to check it out for review or to give feedback and stuff like that. And with Craft, I can super easily come up here in the corner here on the top right, I can share this and generate a link. And then not only can I share this link to other members of our team here inside of the business, but also I could even share this online as like a public website. I've sort of thought about maybe taking the scripts that I write and then publishing them after the fact as sort of a written article almost to accompany the video because a lot of times I write too much and it doesn't fit inside of the video so I cut a lot of it out. So if you guys would be interested in seeing that, let me know because Craft makes it super simple and I could just like throw this link into the video description and then have a whole other component and a whole other interactive layer that you can see uh, from the video and really takes me no extra time at all. If you guys are interested in that, let me know, but I love how easy Craft makes sharing. It is so so simple. All right, and that is it for now from here. All I've got to do is wait a little bit of feedback and see if that comes in. And then in just a couple hours, I'll go shoot the video and show you what the studio process looks like and give you a little peek behind the scenes. My secret code has been entered into the studio we go. Here's a little behind the scenes of stuff you probably haven't seen. So here we go. Here's a little behind the scenes of our fantastic brick room set. And if you didn't know, here's a little peek behind the curtain. It's not actually real brick. We've got this really cool brick facade here. We've got our camera all set up. This is our Ursa Mini G2. We've got the Mix Pre for audio. We've got our aperture light, our nice OLED TV in the background. And the shot should look a little something like this or more a little something like this. So one of the big reasons it was so important for me to find a good notes app that worked well on iPad OS was because I primarily use my iPad Pro here in the studio. I've got the fancy schmancy Apple keyboard, the magic keyboard to be exact. And the nice thing is what I'll do here is, you know, I'll get in the studio a little early and then review my script in craft. Obviously the experience here is fantastic, just like the full Mac OS app, which is really nice. I'm still able to jump into my cards here. I can see all these links, everything's gonna work just as well. And one of the things I really appreciate here is you've got full support of all the iPad OS magic, including the magic keyboard. So I can use the trackpad here to scroll around. I can even jump in here and obviously I can start typing. I don't want to mess up my script, but eh, there you go, just to show you a demo. And then what I love, which you cannot find in many other apps, like I said, full access to the magic keyboard, including the ability to select text. So I can copy and paste. I can use my keyboard shortcuts there. I think I'm ready to start recording this video. All right, so now I am back home. The video has been shot and now it is time to actually edit this. But what I wanna show you specifically here is how I use Craft again in the post-production process to really streamline things and make my life way, way easier as I edit all this raw video together. First off, one of the cool things here is that I can go back and easily reference my script anytime during the edit, which I do quite a lot. And then also beyond sharing inside of Craft, there's also real-time collaboration where you can have other members of your team collaborate in real time on documents that you're working on or different documents as well. And oftentimes what we'll do here is I might be shooting a video, I'll have someone else on the team grab some uh, B-roll clips online or some other articles I might have missed and then throw them in the document. And with that real-time collaboration, it's already there and ready to go. So as I'm working on something else, someone else can be in that same document working as well. Now, the other part of my craft that I'm particularly excited to show off is this. This is my custom post-production template for Apple Circle that basically saves all of the info I need for every single video, but also has some placeholders that are more video specific. So when I'm ready to sort of get a video uh, uploaded and ready to go on YouTube, all I've got to do is create a new document in craft. I can use an existing template, which is going to be this post-production template. And then I can sort of fill out 
out the basics. I can give some title suggestions here. I can fill out anything custom for the description, but all the standard stuff I usually need, access to our social handles, uh, regular description, YouTube tag stuff, it's already saved all in there. And what's nice is that having each one of these unique to each video allows me to go back and reference them at any time. So I can go back and see what was the title we suggested for that video, or what was the original description, or what was this or that. I have everything organized inside of Craft, and having these custom pre-made templates, and even ones that I can edit and sort of make my own, uh, make this so, so simple and save me a bunch of time. So that's a little peek behind the scenes on how we use Craft here at the Apple Circle to make these videos. But again, Craft is gonna be a perfect solution for anyone in any industry. Craft can be perfectly tailored to have the perfect solution for you. As you guys can tell, I'm a huge fan of Craft. I love this. I am so thankful for the opportunity to work with them to make this video. And now I wanna invite you guys to try Craft for yourself. If you're looking to change the way you do documents, if you're looking to make it more of a personal experience, craft something more unique, or just a way to sort of make documents way more reliably synced across devices, Craft is the perfect way to go. And again, it is totally free to start. So if you guys wanna learn more, check it out for yourself today, which I recommend you do, hit the link right down below to get started with Craft. It's an app I use every single day. It's on all my devices. I really love it and I highly encourage you guys to check it out, especially as we have a large Apple audience here on the Apple Circle. I love that this is really built with Apple devices in mind, Apple users in mind, and also it's recognized by Apple as being a really, really good app. So again, to check out Craft at the link down below, get started today, download it for your device today. And again, a huge thanks to Craft for sponsoring this video and a big thanks to you guys for watching this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed a little peek behind the scenes. I really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for coming along for a very fun video and a different video than we usually do here on the channel. Um, just appreciate you guys as always. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Robert Rosenfeld from the Apple Circle, and I'll see you all in the next one.